two of the dominant teams, Greg, out here in the Western Conference going head-to-head. -head. And, Kevin, they know each other well. They expect to meet potentially in the postseason, and I would expect a playoff atmosphere tonight. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. In the backcourt, it's Morant and Smart. The forwards for them, Bain and Jackson. And it's Fox in at the front. And the shot goes in. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. And that one's good, Doncic. I think it's the in-between game, along with his savvy and ball handling that separates Luka as a world-class scorer. Morant against Doncic. Fox a screen on Doncic. Now, here's Morant for three. Drills the three-pointer. More of a dribble drive guard, but the defense can't forget about Jaws' ability outside the air. Outside Irving, stolen by Smart. Up top, Fox. Morant against Doncic. Back to Fox. Outside for Jackson, and the officials calling for a three-second violation. And a moment here to recognize the Western Conference Player of the Month, Jane. Well, he's been an absolute magician when the ball has been in his hands. There isn't any aspect of the offense that he hasn't contributed in, and it's been a pleasure to watch. I mean, unless you are an opposing coach, then his play has been a vivid nightmare. No good from Irving. Morant against Doncic. Morant kicks to Fox. Pass to Bain. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Gafford sends the pick for Doncic. Now Thompson. Three-pointer. Dallas again missing. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Greg, you love this topic more than anyone when you think about the best ball handlers of all time. Where does Kyrie Irving rank on your list? Well, you know I think, Kevin, he's at the very top. I've never seen anyone else pull off some of the things he does. Certainly makes a strong case for the best ever. Another great pass from Doncic. You pretty much expect him to tally double-digit assists every game. Doncic against Morant. Jackson passes to Morant. Just five to shoot. Fox a screen on Doncic. And Morant throws it down. And you're just asking to get burned when you give Morant a lane, using that speed to his advantage. Now, here's Doncic. Really played well against Milwaukee his last outing. And Jason Kidd has called timeout. He's made the decision he wants to huddle up with his guys. A moment here to see some numbers for Fox. His last 10 games have been exceptional. He's averaging 50 points. Well, you know that he can put points up in a hurry, and he leads this team in scoring. Yeah, you know, I think he's got a great sense of how to keep their offense going and being productive. If somebody else is having an off night, then he kind of steps in and fills the gap taking matters into his own head. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Now, here's Thompson. Following the miss by John Morant. Thompson dishes to Doncic. Good. Nice job down low. Doncic has got six. And that's the weight room strength of Doncic right there. Fully displayed. Morant against Doncic. Jackson passes to Fox. Morant left side. From deep three-point land. The offensive rebound. And it's Fox slamming it down. And still fresh on everybody's mind, the moment when MP 
eclipsed the incredible point total that Michael Jordan scored in his legendary 1986-87 season. Craig, you remember it well. It was amazing. Yeah, I mean, he scored 3,041 points that year, the highest total of his career. It's stunning to see a player surpass it, and that's the kind of generational talent and he is. Arguably the smoothest jumper in the game. Clay Thompson. Doncic against Morant. Rebounded by Gafford. For Dallas, they've gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Irving kicks to Kleba. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. It's rebounded by Memphis. Last time they met was in Memphis. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. And, you know, one of the things about winning the physical battle like they did in that game, it gives you a lot of confidence going into the next meeting. You know you can push this team around in the paint and win the physical battle. Special K, the playoffs are not far away. What kind of discussions are going on right now in those locker rooms? Kevin, at this point in time, it's all about focus and intensity. You understand who you are and what needs to be done. It's now a matter of preparing yourself in your mind and body to go out and do that. You've worked for it, and complacency is not an option. Now, here's Doncic. He's got six, and they pick up two. Now, here's Morant. Morant's off a pick from Fox. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Luka Doncic. And there's no doubt Morant near the top of the list of elite scorers in this league. Oh, free throws. Good from Morant. And we've got a timeout called by Jason Kidd. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. And now let's take a look at the most efficient scoring teams in the NBA. Number one, the Grizzlies. And third, the Mavericks. And here we've got two teams shooting the ball so well on the season. And neither one hesitates to pull the trigger. This is a great matchup. Doncic finds Irving. No good there. Good work defensively by Smart. Durant passes to Smart. And here is Fox. Kleba defending. Morant against Irving. Ball stolen. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, Jay in that last matchup against Oklahoma City was all business. He scored 53 points and, as always, was at the defensive end as well. He blocked a lot of shots. The level he played at in that one was incredible. He always wants to play his best against their rivals and, to say the least, mission accomplished. Guys? Yeah, David in stretches. He was absolutely done. Drake, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure. And draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. And what a year it's been for MP. A clear Rookie of the Year favorite and in the conversation, believe it or not, for MVP. Just an astonishing debut season for MP. He'd be in historic company if he was able to take home both of those trophies this year. Now oh, here's Smart. Hasn't made one yet. Fox finds Morant. There's the three. The Mavericks pull it in. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. And it's denied by Fox. Thompson looking for an opening. On the wing, Doncic. Over Bain. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Memphis is gone just one of four from three-point range in the first. 
And Greg, at the time Kyrie joined Dallas, there were some questions around how he and Doncic would fit together. Yeah, well, Dallas needed another ball handler who could score and make plays for others. Doncic couldn't do it all by himself, especially in the postseason. Now, they're trying to build around those two guys. Here's Doncic. Jaron Jackson making his last shot. From the arc. They get it back. Haver kicks to Irving. Gets it from three-point range. Irving's got five points so far. Never lacking confidence. Zero hesitation from Kyrie there. Fox a screen on Doncic. Morant the bounce pass. And it's Fox with the jam. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And now with the fast break, smart with the ball. Here's Fox. Morant left side. Second shot opportunity. The second effort. Here's Fox. Left side Jackson. And the rejection by Kaffer. Here's Doncic. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three. A timeout called by Jason Kidd. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Moving against Morant. To the paint. Here's Fox. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. It's like reading a picture book for Moran. He makes it look insanely easy. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Conchar's checked in. And the lead giving a bit more leeway, GA, to defenders. As a hard-nosed defender yourself, I'm sure you like that change. Oh, I do. I mean, we all love the intensity of playoff basketball. So why not bring a certain level of physicality to the regular season? They've got Kyrie Irving. Dante Exum is out there with Derek Lively. And it's Prosper in at the four-man position. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Now, here's Fox. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off in the sixth. Smart's checked in for Memphis. There's Exum, and looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. They get it back. Poke loose. And here they come. There's Williams. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Williams has got the game tied up here for Memphis. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Here's Grimes. No scoring in this one. And it's denied by Fox. Clark, he's checked in for Santi Aldama. And now the fast break. Fox with the ball. Morant passes to Fox. Outside for Smart. To the wing right side. Fox a screen on Irving. Here's Morant. Got a piece of it. When Lively's on you like this with all his size and length, it's hard to get a shot off on him. Here's Grimes. Nails the baby hook. And the Mavericks lead by two. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Morant against Irving. Fox with the screen for Morant. Trying to find Fox. Gets it to him. It's not getting much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Irving passes to Lively. Back to Irving. Irving. 
And it's Fox with the rebound. Fox has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. On the top of the Rookie of the Year watch list, we see MP's name. He has really been impressive. And before he stepped on an NBA floor, expectations were already high. So to see him actually deliver, it's exactly what his team was hoping he could add to the franchise. Looking at Dallas, they took that win in their last game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. There's a screen. To the inside. Here's Wively. To the surprise of some, Derek Lively made an immediate impact as a rookie. Count me amongst those folks, Kevin. I saw him in college, and I liked his potential, and I thought it would take a while longer for him to have an impact, but, boy, he has exceeded ex expectations in a big way. And because of his shot blocking and energy, running the floor, rim running, and the like, he's earned himself some nice minutes as a uh, contributing player. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game over. Here's Thompson after the made shot from Fox. Doncic, another shot. And it's Fox with the rebound. Fox has got 13 rebounds in the game. See you. Pass to Smart. Here's Fox. Back to Smart. Smart off a pick from Fox. Smart deciding where to go with it. Knock it four. He shoots again. A second chance effort. It's blocked. Smart with the steal. Outside Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. And this is where Smart has really improved. The game's slowed down for him. He's playing under better control. Nice pass. And it's denied by Fox. And there's going to be a foul. He definitely made contact with the ball. And in doing so, also got the body. So we'll see free throws here. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Memphis. They've made the most of the turnovers they've forced. Putting on a lot of pressure here early on. Hey, I know analytics shuns the mid-range game, but I tell you what, these guys have the shooters that can knock them down, and they're making it pay tonight. Now, here's Thompson. He saw with 19 points his last out. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. Such great timing, defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Last game for the Mavericks, they picked up the W against the Bucks. Dodgers finds Exum. Kleber with it. Over Jackson. And the rejection by Jackson. Here's Morant. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Morant's got the lead up to three now for the Grizzlies. Pass to Exum. And the foul on Marcus Smart. And that'll be his third foul so far. G.G. Jackson. He's checked in for the Grizzlies. Exum kicks to Gafford. Dallas moving the ball around. Exum passes to Gaff. Lock at six. Thompson dishes to Doncic. Over smart. Doncic, no good. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Here's smart. Still scoreless. Fires from deep. He just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. And if Smart finds his rhythm from range, he is dangerous. He can do a lot of damage from deep. Gafford gets to Exum. Pass to Doncic. Doncic converts inside. And they've repeatedly pulled inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks very much. The Mavericks have been much improved defensively 
Coach Jason Kidd says when you're leaning on Luka offensively to deliver, and he does, you have to be able to cover him. Not just him, but Kyrie. The focus on playing defense and protecting one another is at a high right now. It can't just be three guys. It has to be all five. Kevin? It is, David. You're right. It's a team game. Here's Thompson after the made shot from Fox. Thompson passes to Doncic. Fires the three. The three ball from Doncic. Don't know what you're thinking, but you got to get out on that or Luka's going to cook you. Doncic against Smart. Outside, Bain jacks up a three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got four assists now tonight. Hey, you know, after a pedestrian first quarter of shooting, I think they've really turned it up offensively. I like where they're headed right now. The direction is good. Now, here's Exum. Pass to Gafford on the wing, Doncic. It's a mark, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Clark, it's hard to compare Luka Doncic to any other player we've seen before. I would certainly agree with that. Ditto to that, Kevin, because he is unique. His pace is never hurry. He never gets rattled. He complains to officials a little bit more than I like to see, but he's strong. He's got great touch and feel, and he scores at all three levels, and he's a brilliant passer. A signature slam from the big fella. We've seen a few of those before. Downshed's with it. He's got 25. Now, Kleba. And Thompson kicks to Kleba. Pass to Doncic. Puts up a deep three. And Fox with a clear path to the basket. Rose can't hit. Mavericks trail by six. Thompson passes to Doncic. Back to Thompson. Doncic with it. Doncic to the rack. It's stolen by Rose. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Here's Jackson. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Kleba. And here is Gafford. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. And on the way from Irving for three. Rebounded by Jackson. And the Grizzlies leading by six. To the middle. Just Fox with the jam. We all know how Rose can score the ball, but sometimes I think we dismiss how good of a passer he is. Fifty seconds left in the first half of the game. Outside Irving. Kedonchik. Irving a screen on Rose. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six block. Oh, oh, it just pounded oh, in. Pounded oh in. Goodness. Oh. oh. <laughs> How about that? Here's Doncic. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And he's going up for the alley -oop. And Gafford throws it down. Capable of running the offense. Doncic, fantastic at getting his teammates involved. Memphis has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Here's Fox. Mavericks with the rebound. Gafford's got rebound number five here tonight. The three for Doncic. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so we conclude the first half. It's the Grizzlies up eight. Time now for the halftime break. With the third quarter soon to follow. Right here on 2K Sports.
Hey, folks, as we get going with our halftime recap, first order of business, the injury status report. The Grizzlies struggling to stay healthy. And this team depends on Vucevic for so much. And that's a big loss. He's a double-double machine. And returning our attention to this game, an impressive first half for the Grizzlies. They're doing a nice job of getting their feet wet in the paint. I like the aggression, powering it up and sending it down. Hey, if you can get the ball in close, why settle? Invite the defense to stop it. Thank you for being with us. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Memphis leading by eight. So on the floor for Memphis. Morant is the point with Bain out on the wing. Jackson is out there with Williams. And it's Fox in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Outside for Jackson. Off target with his three. And George Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Back to Gafford. Six on the shot clock. Let's go. Shot is good, and the Memphis leads cut down to six in the bucket from Clay Thompson. Memphis has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Morant against Doncic. Jackson has the open look. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Fox. We're going to break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. Look at Memphis. They are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sitting in first place right now and not looking like they you know, are going to be slowing down at all. And, of course, there's Dallas right on their heels as they've got the next best record. And, you know, for the Mavericks, their fans had high hopes for them this season, and they have not let them down. It's been a fantastic campaign thus far, and they really are set up perfectly for a deep run in the playoffs. It's obvious their eyes have been squarely on the postseason for a while. It'll be fascinating to see if the regular season dominance carries over. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. You know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, these hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Thompson inside the line and a little luck that time but it drops Thompson's got seven so far so good to begin this half there three for three perfect Morant against Doncic and a wide open look for Payne good and a nice assist from Morant Morant's got nine assists now tonight Doncic looking it over to Kleba. Thompson from long range. And it's Fox with the rebound. And the Grizzlies leading by five inside. And it's Fox with the jam. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. He lobs it up. And Gepper throws it down. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Here's Fox. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And checking out some numbers for Irving. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. He's getting around 28 points per four assists and four rebounds it's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these but that is just what he delivers night in and night out you know it's so easy for us to take him for granted to get spoiled with what he does i think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays Good 
the screen on Bain. Irving way outside. Offline with his three. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Morant with it. Picked up by Thompson. And the shot goes in. Morant's got 13 points. Yeah, I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Gafford kicks to Thompson. Back to Gafford. Pass to Kleba for three. It's rebounded by Memphis. On the wing, Bain. Covered by Irving. Here's Fox. Outside Jackson fires for three. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for Memphis. On Sunday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. Then on Monday, they'll be matching up against Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns. And it's going to be home game after home game after home game for this group. So they got a great chance to string together a number of wins given how strong they've been playing. Doncic against Morant. Outside Jackson. Shot clock at six. Fox with the screen for Morant. Kleba with the rebound. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Thompson off target at the rim. And it's Fox with the ball for Memphis. Eight-point game. And let's go quickly to the 2K leaderboard to see the ratings of the best passing two guards in basketball. Kyrie Irving third. And, and what that group has a great understanding of is the importance of ball movement. I mean, they can all create their own shots, but their superb ability to set up teammates really stands out. Yeah, I think you've got to attribute it to the unselfish attitude that each of them has. I mean, sure, they're going to attack and make sure they get their points, but they get just as much satisfaction in racking up assists, too. Down low, here's Fox. And it goes out of bounds. That one is off Cleveland. Here's Morant. Count it. The defender is called for the block, and this could turn into a three-point play. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Memphis. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. And their passing has been great as well. Ball movement is key in getting good looks, and they've had that down tonight. Greg, you think about oversized point guards, and the gold standard has always been Magic Johnson. Now you look at Luka Doncic, and he's certainly big for that position. Definitely some positive similarities, right? But the big difference is one of those guys has five rings, and that's not a knock on Doncic. This is a team score, but Magic's ability to affect winning was right there with another injury. Michael Jordan. And it's Fox with the jam. Terrific play on Bain's part. Sparking the fast break with a heads-up play on defense. Mavericks trail by 10. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 31. Side Irving has to Thompson taken away by Williams. Payton for three. Here's Fox and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
the Grizzlies have missed out on some chances at the line today. 0-6 of 11. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. And guys, that allows their opponents to play very aggressive defense if they choose to, knowing it's not a bad thing to send them to the foul line. Santi Aldama's checked in for Williams. Doncic against Morant. Doncic kicks to Kleba. Shot clock at five. Dallas moving it around. Three pointer. And it's Fox with the rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Mavericks trail by 13. Pass to Gafford. Thompson outside. Now here's Doncic. They need this one. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Timeout called by Jason Kidd. And he wants to see some changes out there right away and right now. Derek Lively is out there with Maxi Kleba. That's Kyrie Irving. Then it's Exum. And it's Grimes in at the two. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. And things seem to be getting tougher for the big spending teams, Clark, but we're seeing a lot of them go all in before the toughest penalties take effect. Yeah, you know, the frozen pick provision kicks in next season, and the season after that, luxury taxes ramp way up. Powerhouse teams trying to make hay while the sun shines is a pretty good strategic business move, but the landscape is certainly changing. Morant right side. Morant off a pick from Fox. It's deflected. Pass break, Dallas. Irving kicks to Exum. Now, here's Kleba. Guarded closer. Five on the clock. Irving from long range. Bangs home the trifecta. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And it's Fox with the jam. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. For Dallas, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Irving can't get it to go. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Here's Morant. Grabs the rebound again. And he's just eating glass right now. Greg, 30 rebounds in this one. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And, you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Kleba with a screen on Rose. A baseline J. Nice D from Rose. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. Fox passes to Rose. Now for over a decade, Clark, we've been in the player empowerment era. And it's generally been, I think, a positive for the NBA. Yeah, I can't agree with you more in that regard. The players are the drivers of the league. They're the personalities. They're the visibility. They're the doers, the talented performers of a league that entertains globally. So they deserve more 
money and influence, and I think they've gotten both. Now, there are a few players that have kind of exploited that in a way that I don't think is most healthy by forcing trades, but I think it's a good thing overall. You got to appreciate Kyrie Irving's court awareness. Outstanding. Finding open teammates. Switch, 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 switch. Rose against Irving. And Lively pulls it down. Lively's got rebound number eight now on the night. Grimes passes to Exum. Back to Kleba. There's the triple, and that comes off the assist by Exum. Exum's got four assists in the game. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Fox with the screen for Morant. And Chen shot the kick out to Rose. Rose off the pick from Fox. Rose passes to Fox. And it's Fox slamming it down. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. A circus dunk for you right there, guys. Dallas has gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Now, here's Exum. He's guarded by Williams. Grimes passes to Exum. Dallas moving it around. Wants to get it to Irving and does. And it's denied by Fox. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Baines checked in for Memphis. Smart comes in for Rose. Pass to Bain. Smart against Irving. Smart up top. Just four to shoot. Cranes the three-pointer. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Yeah, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Morant with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Here's Fox. Kleber with the rebound. Kleber's got his fourth rebound in this one. Smart against Irving. Here's Doncic. Kleber with it. Pass to Irving. Lets it go with a three. And it's Fox with the rebound. The NBA has always been a star-driven league, Greg, and that's reflected in team strategies now more than ever before. It is. All over the league, teams now building their systems around their stars, surrounding them with complementary players and running the offense through them as much as possible. They've hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Maverick shooting 41% for the game. Outside Irving. Pass to Gafford. Now Thompson. Guarded by Bain. The shot by Thompson, no good. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Here's Fox. Can't hit from in close. Dallas has gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. And Thompson kicks to Doncic. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. Fox, no good. Dallas shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Cleveland, no good. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Memphis. On the wing, Irving. 
From past the arc, the shot's good on the assist by Doncic. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Morant against Doncic. Outside, Smart. Here's Fox back to Morant. Doncic with the steal. The 10 footer. And it's denied by Fox. Doncic passes to Irving. There's another block. And that's nine blocks. Oh! Can you believe oh! that? Turned up and turned out. Oh! Throwing it down. Oh! Come on. Now, Doncic. Pass to Gafford. Bain against Thompson. And here is Doncic. Good work defensively by Fox. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Smart against Irving. Six to shoot. Morant passes to Fox, and it's Fox with the jam. High-level passer. Even for a point guard, Morant shows the imagination. Some changes for Memphis. G.G. Jackson. He's checked in for Desmond Bain. Conchar comes in for Marcus Smart. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Morant. Outside Irving. Pass to Kleba. Now Gafford. Here's Kleba. Here's Irving. Conchar covering. To the inside. Here's Gafford. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got three assists now in this one. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. On the wing, Jackson. From the line. It's rebounded by Dallas. Kleba's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Thompson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Regarding court layout, uh, Clark, do you think there should be more space around the court to reduce collisions? Yeah, part of me would say that makes a lot of sense and would be prudent. I mean, you've got to balance that with access to fans who want to be for those premium seats as close to the action as possible. But it is difficult when you see a fan collide with the players. So I think you balance it. I would like to see a little more room, give the fans the experience and access, but maybe create a little more cushion between the playing surface and those high-priced seats. Pass to Doncic. The shot from the low post is good. That's 36 points for Luka Doncic. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Memphis. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And the wins continue to come in fairly easy for these guys and what's been a very strong year to say the least tonight will push them up to 56 wins. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. Yep, but two more to go before the end of the season and they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Jay. Yeah, and he was aggressive rebounding the ball tonight. I think his aggressiveness on the glass helps set the tone. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Rose scanning the floor. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. 
to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that's going to do it. Great win tonight, MP. 